Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex and I am going to cover our different audio setups that we use. Now this can either be for our DJ company or our live streaming company. I'm going to use the different scenarios when I would use uh, something like this setup and then when we need to switch to a setup like this. So for most typical situations, we are going to use our uh, Behringer XR mixer. Uh, comes with the app. We run ours off of uh, iPad. It's a really good system and it's really good for setting gates, EQs, dynamics, getting more qual uh, like a higher quality sound out of our microphones. We're able to do a lot of different things and this is going to work for most scenarios. So this setup um, gives us the ability of using 12 different channels. And this gives us the ability to use 18 XLR channels. And this setup is more for bigger bands, more complex setups. This is going to be for basic live streams. And, you know, when we're doing our wedding packages where we only need a couple of XR um, inputs and be able to run that from the app. This setup over here is built for uh, two wireless microphones where this is built for four wireless microphones. Plus you can do uh, wired microphones, which I'll explain the setup here in a little bit. So what we have here is we have our Shure QLXD line of microphones. These are a really high quality microphone. I think I've used these up to about 400 feet away without cutting out. I mean, reliably 300 feet, I would have no problems worrying about these uh, cutting in and out. So it's a really, really good solution. Uh, you know, when you get the cheaper microphones, you worry about the signal cutting in and out. As long as there is a pretty good line of sight, should have no problem uh, with these cutting in and out. So we use either two wireless handhelds or what we have here is we have our lapel body packs that we can put on like a minister, officiant, somebody uh, reading by a podium, anything where they need to move around and still pick up some audio quality or high audio quality, uh, we will put one of these on each one of those people. So kind of how this works is you're gonna go down here, you're gonna select menu and enter. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna scan the room and try to pick up the best frequency so these two can talk to each other. Once those are done, you're gonna hit sync you're going to line this up together and then once it's synced up it's going to read good um, if it says bad then you need to pick a new channel and resync it so we can run either two of these into handheld we can run four of these or four wireless so it really just depends on the different application how many different people that we need to mic up in all the different scenarios um, so that's one thing that we'll cover but we do have the ability to do up to four wireless if we need to do more, then we'll bring, you know, a combination of both these different setups. So it just really depends on what we're doing. This setup is more geared towards a band. This is more set up for our live streaming or like a ceremony setup. Um, it's really nice because we can have the computer that stays in here. We can put the iPad in here and then we have our mixer it doesn't have as many inputs, but for most scenarios, this is going to cover about 90% of what we're doing. So all these have a power conditioner in them. We're going to have our wireless rack, and then we're also going to have the mixer. Both of these are powered by an iPad. Both of these setups, I'm going to break down some of the differences in the different use scenarios. So if we're doing a big band where we need multiple inputs and outputs, if we have multiple speakers, uh, multiple microphones, we're going to use uh, this setup over here. Uh, but most of like our ceremonies, cocktail setups, uh, smaller live stream, then we're going to use this setup here. Everything is run from an iPad. We have this app here that controls everything. So that way we can go around the room. We can set all the mic levels. We can go and EQ everything. Uh, we can have fine control over like the gates, the dynamics. And this is a really good solution to fine tune the sound quality effects, different things that we want to do versus just having a analog mixer. The downfall is there's no actual knobs on this. So everything needs to be controlled uh, from the app. This does come with a Wi-Fi network built into it, um, but it's not that great. Uh, so here in a little bit, I'll show you the solution um, that we use for this. So these are both nice clean setups. It's easy to set up, tear down, 
power is built in everything is installed in the back of these when we get to the location we just open everything up plug everything in and we're up and running so one of the things that we do as you can see here on this one is we have a snake so this box give us uh six xlr inputs and then two quarter inch uh inputs and then what we can do is you can see how thin this is we can run this snake uh, put it at the front of house or up on the stage and that way we're not running a ton of different microphone cords when we're hooking up like a band so it's a really really good solution so for this little box i think i paid a 100 bucks um this will give us from where we're this is set up till about 50 feet um you can get different runs you can do a box that's even an ethernet but it only has like four connections so most setups that we do small bands this is going to cover about 90 percent of the different applications and it's just a good solution when you have to use wired mics and you know you don't have the ability to use uh, wireless mics or you're going to have something that's going to be a lot longer and you want a direct connection this would probably be the way to go but like i said in this box we have uh, the ability to do up to four different wireless microphones so you can see on here there is a uh, wi-fi and code and so what this does is we have a uh, wireless router in the back of this and that way the mixer talks to the router and then that way we can get a nice uh, strong signal to connect from the ipad to the mixer so that way you can walk around the room you control everything somebody's out there giving a speech you can walk around the room and see how it sounds differently and that way you can do some fine adjustments and eq adjustments as you're standing by them so you know it's a lot different in your back of the house usually behind the speakers you can't hear the volumes so this way you can walk around the room and then you can eq everything uh to your guys's taste and liking and it's just a really good solution instead of having to have two people adjust everything um, like the lapel mics you gotta have a lapel mic on you you can go stand where the efficient minister is gonna stand and then you can eq everything and just hear everything nicely now, when we get to a lot of different places, especially when it comes to our live streaming setup, they might have a church and they might have sound that's already there. The problem is, is sound levels for the people that are viewing it are completely different than the sound levels for the people that are hearing it on the live stream. And we need to have, you know, individual control. So then that way we can send one signal level to the people that are viewing it live and then also the people that are listening to on the live stream. And so that's why we went with this setup. So that way we can have control of those different levels. So it's a pleasant experience for the people that are hearing it in both scenarios and this is why we came up with this kind of setup all right so in the back of this you can see we have our antennas so when you get to event you're gonna have to hook up uh these antennas these ones stay on it um so to get the lid to close on it, you have to take these antennas off but you can see inside the box we're gonna have a power supply so that way we can hook up our ipad so if you need to get to the event and charge your ipad that's there we also have our computer and you can see on the other side we have a com uh, computer charging station so that way you can plug it in and that way when you're running off your computer if needed for the live stream you have power to the computer and everything sits nice and tidy in here you can see that we have a uh, router it's just like your normal uh, home router for internet except for you don't use the internet port so we're going to go from the router and then that's also connecting uh into the mixer in front so and also if you want to run like a light show and that needs to be plugged into the router you can do that uh, down below so that's the basic setup in the applications that we use we use this with the a10 mini when we're live streaming one of the downfalls is there's no phantom power so we use a lot of condenser microphones, a lot of microphones that use phantom power. And this is the only way to be able to use a setup like this to do a live stream when we're having multiple different microphones. Like I said, we can use up to like 18 different microphones in this, condense it down to a stereo signal and send it to uh, the live stream. So these are the two common boxes uh, that we use and I'll show you how this kind of uh, packs away and why this setup is unique. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, whether you use the two of the wireless or two of the lapels, you're gonna put those in here. You're gonna take these off. So 
So these are going to get put down in here. Make sure your antennas are pushed down. You can uh, unplug this and leave this down there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put on this back panel. Then from there you have the top. Put that on there. Close this down. Boom, you're ready to go. Has a slide out handle, got wheels. It's easy to pick up. Little, It's a little bit on the heavy side, um, but it just makes it nice when you get to an event, you already got your computer, everything there. Take this top off. Undo the back, you got all the cords hook this into whatever you need. And so it's just a really good solution to keep everything contained. You don't have to unplug everything. Everything is plugged in and you're ready to go. If you guys have any more questions about either one of these setups, uh, leave them in the comments below. My name is Alex with Portland Event Films. Thank you guys very much for watching this video.